If you're a cryptocurrency holder, odds are you've heard that having a hardware wallet to protect that cryptocurrency is a non-negotiable element of safe crypto investing. And that is 100% true. That said, I've been testing the Ledger Nano S Plus, the latest hardware wallet from Ledger. In this review video, I'll share with you everything you need to know about this new wallet, what's good, what's not so good, and whether you should buy one of these for yourself or look elsewhere. So let's start things off with the overall specs of the device. By the way, if you wanna get the latest crypto information without all the hype, make sure to hit subscribe and click the bell notification button that is below this video. It's totally free. The Ledger Nano S Plus is the latest addition to the Ledger family of hardware wallets. And it's sort of positioned right in the middle of their product offering between the now quite old entry level wallet, the Ledger Nano S, and right below the top of the line Ledger Nano X that's been a go-to for many crypto and NFT investors who have had the need to use a hardware wallet on the go with their smartphone over the last several years. The Ledger Nano S Plus hardware itself is a more refined and premium feeling product that resonates with the same design language that Ledger wallets have pretty much always had since their inception. It features a 128 by 64 pixel OLED screen on the front of the device with two top mounted buttons used to navigate the interface. And all this is tied together with an ABS plastic chassis protected by the classic Ledger hardware wallet metal hinge cover. The whole wallet weighs less than the average pour over coffee dose at around 21 grams and much of that is likely due to the absence of an internal battery in this S Plus model, though it does have the same larger memory capacity as the Nano X so you can have up to 100 applications installed on the device to be used with various different cryptocurrencies, but a little bit more on that later. In contrast to the Ledger Nano S, its predecessor and its micro USB port, the S Plus also has a USB-C port on board for the main connection to your computer or a compatible Android device, which is a pretty nice addition. I hate having to look around for the few remaining micro USB cables that I carry around in my bag. This is not by any means a departure from the Ledger wallet designs of the past, but it improves on the Ledger Nano S by a pretty large margin. It's a little bit bigger, it feels more premium, and the rounded edges make it a little easier to hold and use in my opinion. At least it's a little bit more comfortable. By the way, if at any point in time during or after the video you want to check out the Nano S Plus, I've linked the product up in the description of the video as well as in the pinned comment so you can be sure you're going to the correct website. There's lots of scams out there. Now that covers the outside of the device, the body of the device. So let's talk about the far more important inside of the device and the security features within that wallet. Now inside the chassis of the Ledger Nano S Plus, you have the same CC EAL 5 Plus certified secure element. And this is where the brunt of the private key operations and storage of your device lives. This is what keeps your private key safe on the device and that's well, key to this whole thing, right? Pun intended. Now, don't read too much into the CCEAL 5 Plus certification part. This common criteria evaluation assurance level refers to the level of scrutiny and depth that the product goes through during security evaluation, but it's not necessarily something where a higher score equates to a higher number equates to higher security. So just take it with a grain of salt. What you do need to know though is that this device has an evaluated secure element on board and that's good. Ledger also touts their independent certification from the National Agency for the Security of Information Systems in France as an attestation for the security of their devices. So it's just an additional verification for you. Where this wallet deviates from the Ledger Nano X, that flagship wallet from Ledger we talked about, is that it doesn't have that internal battery like I mentioned before and it does not in turn have support for Bluetooth connectivity, which is the main reason the Nano X had the battery in the first place. This particular wallet, Nano S Plus, is used by plugging in to the USB port to your computer. For security buffs, this lack of Bluetooth is probably a huge sigh of relief as it's one less attack vector to take advantage of as a hacker. Overall, I think the Ledger Nano S Plus hits all the marks on security in terms of its hardware package and firmware updates are of course digitally signed and tightly controlled through the companion Ledger Live software that's available on Mac, Linux, and Windows. Speaking of Ledger Live, let me talk a little bit about setting up the Ledger Nano S Plus real quick as well. Now the setup process for the Nano S Plus is 
pretty much a breeze, right? It's really simple, especially if you've set up a hardware wallet in the past, but it does take a few minutes and there's a little bit of patience required, so just take your time. When you receive the device, you wanna check that all the shrink wrap wasn't compromised, take out the device from the packaging and plug it into your computer with the Ledger Live software open. And by the way, bookmark ledger.com forward slash ledger dash live, as that's the only place that you're gonna be downloading that Ledger Live software. Watch out for spoofed sites and software that's looking to steal from you. Anyway, once you have your wallet plugged in and connected to Ledger Live, you should see your Nano S Plus screen say welcome and prompt you to scroll to the right with the right button at the top of the device. Once you get to the menu option that says, quote, set up as a new device, you can hit both buttons at the same time to select and move forward to create a pin code. Use something secure here, preferably six digits. Then it will prompt you to write down your 24 word seed phrase so you can restore your wallet in case your device breaks or it's lost. Now please, please keep this safe and write it down in pencil on the cards provided in the box. That's because ink fades, pencil is better in this case. This is the most important part of the process because this seed phrase of 24 words is the key to the castle. Keep this safe and your crypto will be safe. If you lose your device or it breaks, you can recover using this 24 words. After writing it down, you will have to confirm it on the screen of the device, which is a necessary but tedious process. But once you've done this, you're done. You're good to go. From here, you just use Ledger Live to install the necessary apps that you want so your device knows how to sign and interact with the various blockchains you wish to use like Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. And it's really as simple as that. Note that you can also set up this device by restoring an existing seed phrase if you're, say, upgrading from your old Nano S, for example. Just scroll over to restore from recovery phrase, which is one option past the setup as new, and punch in your existing 24 words, and you're good to go. Now, everyone's probably very curious about coin support, and everyone's always focused on that when it comes to hardware wallets, and rightly so. You wanna buy a wallet that's gonna be able to handle the maximum amount of cryptocurrencies and NFTs that you have in your portfolio so you can keep them safe and just buy one wallet to kind of do everything. The Ledger Nano S Plus is among the very best in coin support, with support for up to 5,500 cryptocurrencies and more being added all the time. It supports the blue chips like Bitcoin and Ether, along with ERC-20 assets on Ethereum, as well as NFTs on Ethereum, along with a plethora of other altcoins like Polkadot, Cardano, Cosmos, Elrond, Algorand, Avalanche, Phantom, and a ton more. Now I'll leave a link in the description to the full listing of coin support and whether staking is supported for each of those so you can check to see if your favorites are listed there. In the future, I hope Ledger supports more blockchains for NFTs and of course adds more support for native staking on more blockchains as well. But you won't find many wallets, if any, that can say they beat Ledger with coin support here. It's a great wallet for those with wide ranging portfolios and some Ethereum NFTs in the mix as well. To make things even better, you can integrate the Ledger Nano S Plus with MetaMask, the popular browser-based wallet that many people use across EVM-compatible chains to use all sorts of dApps that are, of course, Ethereum-compatible. So really fantastic. It's basically plug and play. That said, there are, of course, a couple things that I didn't love about this wallet when I was testing it out, and I've been testing it out for a pretty reasonable amount of time now. First of all, no matter how much I try, I just can't make myself enjoy the experience of using such a tiny device with two little buttons to navigate. It's just a personal preference, and this goes for all Ledger wallets. I just don't love the navigation system compared to some other wallets on the market. Now, I can live with it because the wallet itself is so good and it's a one-stop shop, but it's still an annoyance for me. Secondly, I have in the past had some issues with firmware updates on Ledger wallets, and I haven't had this long enough to go through several update cycles, so I can't comment definitively on whether that issue remains or if they fixed it. So I won't call it a full-on negative yet, but more of a, okay, please Ledger prove to me that this is fixed sort of situation, but worth calling out nonetheless. I'll also say that one final minor nitpick is that the metal finish they chose for the trademark Ledger hinged cover plate is a fingerprint magnet. But again, this is a nitpick. This is a utilitarian device that you're probably not sitting there admiring for its looks. I mean, maybe you do, but that's up to you. Minor thing, but I think it's worth noting. Overall, I, f I believe that the pros far outweigh the cons here with the Ledger Nano S Plus, and it is a far, far better wallet than its predecessor, the Nano S, and arguably 
a better choice for many people than the pricier Nano X. Now more on that in a second, but let's talk about pricing here because I know a lot of people are probably wondering how much this thing costs. At this point, you might be sold on the Nano S Plus already, or you're kind of on the fence, but you want to know the pricing first. So the Nano S Plus can be had directly from Ledger on their website for 79 US dollars, which is about 73 euros or 63 Great British Pounds at the time of recording this, which is just a little over half the price of the Ledger Nano X, that flagship device, and it's only $20 more than the Nano S, its predecessor. Again, you can find the link in the description and pinned comment to go directly to the official Ledger web store to check this out. For me personally, I would buy the Nano S Plus over the Nano S every single day of the week without question. No competition. For 79 bucks, this wallet will do a ton of work for you in the crypto space, and it's far more capable than the Nano S was, which kind of brings me to who this wallet is ideal for. Like, Who should buy this wallet without second guessing it? To be honest, this Nano S Plus is finally what I would call Ledger's Goldilocks wallet. It's their Goldilocks product. It has the best features of both the Nano S and the Nano X. It's relatively affordable, and it has a huge amount of coin support and NFT support with pretty good user experience on Ledger Live for desktop. I think this wallet is pretty much perfect for beginners who don't have a hardware wallet and need one but don't want to spend more than their portfolio's worth on a wallet, but I also think this is a worthy upgrade for someone who has a Nano S or they have another wallet that's leaving them wanting for a better UX or more coin support or both. This to me is the best wallet Ledger has ever produced, and I say that because I've used every wallet since the plastic USB-A Ledger One device, which I can show on the screen here. This was ancient. And this new product, the S Plus, is the most mature product they've built in my experience. If you want to learn more about the Ledger Nano X, Ledger's top of the line wallet, and you want to compare those, you can find my full review of that wallet linked up here on the screen to watch next. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be posting a full head to head comparison video between the Nano X and this new Nano S Plus here very soon on the channel that you won't want to miss if you're trying to make a buying decision. Thanks for watching. I hope you and your family have a great week ahead. And until next time, cheers.